We've been invited here to Team Sky's Mallorcan training camp by Wahoo to join the team in an indoor training session where I'll be riding along with the likes of Michal Kwiatkowski and Walt Pauls. And I must admit, I am looking forward to that. <laughs> bucket, bucket for Matt. Before we do that, we're also going to look at how Team Sky integrate the Wahoo Kicker into their training routine. First up, we spoke to Tim Kerrison to ask how important home trainers are to Team Sky's training strategy. Yeah, power trainers are really important to all professional cyclists at this time of year in, in, uh, in winter when the, when the weather's a bit unpredictable. The guys do quite a lot of, of uh, work on the kicker to replace what they're not able to do on the road. What about the warm down as well, warming up and warming down, because that's where Team Sky have been a bit of a trailblazer in the pro scene for the last few seasons. Yeah, warming up and warming down is really Im an important part of what we do in races. I think um, because it's such a demanding sport and, and, and the riders, the, the stage alone uh, is so demanding, I think when we came into the sport, the, um, the approach was, well, you don't want to do any more than you have to do. But actually we found if done at the right intensity and with the right fueling plan around it, that investing a little bit of time in warming up if and when it's required, um, it actually helped the riders to recover and start the next day in, in better shape. So that's the perspective of the coaches, but what about the riders? How do they use home trainers? Hi Luke, on a bit of a bit of a light warm down now, but I'm interested in what, what sessions you actually use, especially given your, your race program, because you've got, you do the Northern Classics, but then you move ahead onto the Tour de France as well, generally. Yeah, I think for me, it's more of a tool for, and, and I guess it's similar with most people, it's, it's more of a bad weather tool. Um, if I've got the option to go on the road, I'll always take it, but. You know, for me, you often leading up to the classics is often predominantly where you get the bad weather. So it's, uh, you know, with the system, um, the way you can set it up, you can really put a lot of torque and do some really low cadence stuff, which, you know, it's kind of like climbing uh, a cobble climb when you're really grinding up it. So it's, it's really good for the, the, you know, the torques type, type work. And um, that's predominantly what I use it for in the, in the off season and the winter. Essentially on your own in that zone. Yeah. What do you like to listen to? What gets you pumping? Yeah, everyone's, everyone's pretty different with this and everyone's got their own little thing. Um, but for me, I think it's just a good bit of old school rap, really. Um, oh, I right. say old school, not old, old. Like, uh, I'm not that old, so. I mean, you old school rap is a different different thing. Yeah, it? slightly different. Mine's probably, Grandmaster Flash, you. and you're like Dr. Dre, for I'm example. Dr. Dre, yeah. 50 Cent, Eminem. Yeah. Um, okay. You'd probably still call that modern, wouldn't you? It is relatively modern for me, <laughs> though, yeah. Big question for you, Ian. Do you think training with accurate power has improved your race day performance? Uh, most definitely. Yeah, you know, I, I remember when I had my first home trainer and it was just the tire on the, on the little wheel and yeah, you try to train and you try to get power, but you just wind up tire slipping, you wear your tire out and you don't really get an accurate or, or consistent training session. Describe to me then, I mean, we've all done some pretty brutal training sessions. Just, can you remember the hardest training session that Tim has ever given you? Yeah. And what the soundtrack to that yeah. session was. Was it silence, your yeah. beating heart, or were there some beats involved? I think the most challenging turbo session I've ever done was probably 2014. We had we were actually were out here in Mallorca and we'd done a three hour ride and it was like three degrees and raining. We all like Wiggins is like, all right, we're we're going back, like this is ridiculous. So we came back, came in the hotel and they'd already set our bikes up on the turbo. And I was like, Oh, I'm not sure if we're gonna do this right away. I was like, I first I need to shower and warm up. So I went and showered. Um, I think we did a session, it was like an hour and a half with three 15 minute blocks at threshold, which you know, after we'd already been outside, I think it was the last day of camp, so we were mentally kind of already checked out. Um, but we got through the workout, I think it was Wiggins, myself, and maybe Ben Swift in the room. That's some good company. And I didn't, have, I didn't have headphones, I just wanted to get it done. You know, it's just like looking at the power, do the workout, and get off and go home for Christmas. So. That was the worst, uh, well, just the, the mentally most difficult session I've ever done. You've ever done. So you're, as well as being a track world champion, you're a noted time trial specialist as well, and I've noticed that you do, rather than use rollers to warm up for the track, you, you use a home trainer. So, I mean, yeah. uh, why is that? That's quite, that's quite interesting from a track ride. They yeah. normally sort of go with like Certainly least I resistance. I mean, when I first started with uh, GB on the track, three, four years ago, it was always rollers, but always just do rollers. Um, and then we switched to turbos just to, 
you know get that more resistance in. And certainly, we you know they looked at the warm ups a lot, and it's, you can get a lot of cadence on the rollers. But that's about it, you know. But especially for a team pursuit, you know, start of a time trial, you need you need your big power straight away. And the only way you can do that is by getting some resistance. In your warm up. Um, so, where, whereabouts do you like to situate yours? Do you like yeah. to be with the family or, or do, you, do you like to be alone and kind of focused in that way? Well, I've just moved to a new place actually, and luckily, got a nice, ter nice terrace in the sun now, so hopefully, be out there. Um, but where I was in Manchester, we had sort of designated bike turbo room, so it was just all, you know, like just a little grim room, you just boof, turbo here, turbo there, and you went in and yeah, just got it done. But yeah, luckily, I'm hopefully looking forward to it now, you know, big terrace looking over the sea, so. So, it's very clear that the home trainer plays a vital part in every aspect of training and competition. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to GCN, you can do that by clicking just on the globe here. It's absolutely free. And if you want to join me and Team Sky in a 30-minute endurance session, you can do that by clicking just up there. Or, for an even sharper, shorter session for burning fat for 20 minutes, join me and click just down there.